Prejudice, bigot, ignorant, racist. All of these terms are offensive, but racist has become a word that people sling at each other with very little discretion. But what does it really mean? And can everyone really be racist? Racism is defined by the Oxford Dictionary as the belief that all members of each race possess characteristics and abilities specific to that race, especially so as to distinguish it as inferior or superior to another race or races. Though this definition is true, many professionals argue that it lacks context and understanding. Carlos Hoyt Jr., the writer of The Pedagogy of the Meaning of Racism, Reconciling a Discordant Discourse, and others who call for revision defined racism as prejudice plus power leveraged at the institutional level to maintain the privileges of the dominant social group. Racism as a term became more common in the 1930s as a way to describe the atrocities being committed by Nazis. This falls more in line with the Oxford Dictionary definition. But as times have changed, the definition and the expression of racism have also changed. David T. Wellman, author of Portraits of White Racism wrote, that is, when racism is analyzed as culturally acceptable beliefs that defend social advantages that are based on race. Racism is not simply bigotry or prejudice, and it should not be confused with ethnic hostilities. Although specific expressions of racism clearly change, sociologically speaking, the analytic features of the concept stay the same. Regardless of its historically specific manifestations, racism today remains essentially what it has always been, a defense of racial privilege. Others feel that defining racism as prejudice meets power is a way of excusing racist behavior from black people and a means of alienating white people. So where does that leave us? The debate is ongoing, but one journal proposes utilizing the term race-based oppression to describe the actions of racist beliefs, a term that can be applied to anyone regardless of the person's race. I personally believe in the racism equals power plus prejudice ideology with a little bit of a twist, but I also believe that more people are prejudiced than full-on racist, and in fact, I find that those terms to be used interchangeably a lot when it doesn't really apply. When it comes to barring people from jobs, housing, education, financing, um, all based on a person's skin color, I think that's racist no matter who does it. Unfortunately, those things I named happen systematically to black people in this country. And on, like for me, it completely supersedes the individual. I'm really more concerned about the institutional uh, level of racism, but this institutional racism is completely propelled um, well, not completely, but this institutional racism is in large part propelled by prejudiced people. Uh, for example, if a black man is killed on the news by a police officer and, you know, they hear the phrase, oh, well, you know, he deserved it because he was a thug or a criminal, um, defiant or aggressive, a prejudiced person who already kind of believes that is more inclined to accept that as the truth because that aligns with their beliefs. And, you know, those people go out to vote in more prejudiced people who then go on to work to maintain a system of imbalance. And so that's why, to me, the individual is only a small factor, but it's still such a, a, a giant part. And um, that's something that I think can only really be fixed by education and being made aware of and being asked to question sometimes what you think is true and why do you think that. All right guys, so if you learned anything new or you would just like some food for thought, I invite you to chew on the pedagogy of the meaning of racism, reconciling a discordant discourse. I've left the uh, link right here, but I've also put it down in the description box if you don't wanna click the annotation. Um, that being said, I have enjoyed speaking candidly with you and I would love it if you guys would speak candidly with me as well. And let's continue this conversation down in the comment section. Hey guys, if you like that video, don't be shy and let me know and hit that like button. If you like it and are intrigued, hit that subscribe button so you get to see more content from me. I release videos once a week on Sundays and some vlogs every couple of days. Um, <laughs> so that's it guys, hit a button. No? Okay, well then, I was, I'm Tori. <laughs> this is Tori Tells All and guys, keep on smiling.